Good morning, friends and family, and family and friends. Happy Wednesday the 29th, everyone, and welcome to Hump Day. Right where we left it, smack dab in the middle of the week. It is also my exceptionally awesome mom's birthday. I love birthdays. For me, it's a time to reflect and celebrate, making it through another year of this fantastic adventure we call life. Considering I am no spring chicken myself, I consider myself doubly blessed to have such an awesome mom and to still have her in my life. Happy birthday, Mom. Sunrise will be at 5.52 this morning and sunset will be at 7.54, giving us 14 hours and 2 minutes of daylight today. Presently it's 50 degrees outside, give or take a little bit depending on exactly where you live. We've just got to get through today and we will start seeing more of the sun. Today you should expect periods of rain throughout the day with high temps in the low 50s. Winds will be out of the north at 15 to 20 miles per hour with some gusts over 40 miles per hour. So bring your umbrella and hold your hat. All right, from our family of friends celebrating birthdays today. Happy birthday to Nace Mob, Lori Roth, Samantha Piper, Carrie Malek, Chris Windenhauser, Tom Barnhurst, Rose Otis, Dustin Mann, Andy Multhoff, April Weatherall, Engel, Samuel Martin, and as mentioned earlier, last but certainly not least, my beautiful, awesome, and amazing mom, Linda Lou Fuller. Our celebrity birthday shout out starts with a longtime actress who played the wife of Al Pacino in the movie Scarface. She went on to have an awesome success over her long career, starring in such films as Grease 2, Batman Returns, Wolf, and What Lies Beneath. She also played in the awesome films Hairspray and The Witches of Eastwick. Michelle Pfeiffer turned 62 today. Our next celebrity is a popular actress known for her performance in Pulp Fiction and in the Kill Bill films. She took home a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress for her role in the 2003 film Hysterical Blindness. In 2019, she began starring Netflix Chambers as well as served as a producer on the show. Uma Thurman turns 50 years old today. Our next celebrity is a household name and an awesome stand-up comedian, producer, actor, and writer. He co-created and starred in the sitcom Seinfeld, which became one of the most popular television comedies of all time. In 2012, he began the internet comedy series called Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee, where he chats with other comedians. Jerry Seinfeld turned 66 today. Our last celebrity shout-out is for a musical legend that is also a household name a country singer, activist, poet, songwriter, actor, and author who helped create Farm Aid. He has written many country hits, including Funny How Time Slips Away and Hello Walls. Willie Nelson turns 87 today. And although Willie certainly deserves our honored final shout out, we have a late entry on the track. He is our third celebrity who became a household name mentioned this morning. He was a legend Winston Cup NASCAR driver in the 1980s and 90s. He won seven Winston Cup Series championships as well as the 1998 Daytona 500. As many of you probably remember, he died after a horrible car accident at the Daytona 500 race back in 2001. Dale Earnhardt was born on this day in 1951 and tragically moved on to the big race in the sky at the age of 49 back in 2001. All right, moving on to this day in history. On today's date in 1945, the German concentration camp Dauchen is liberated by U.S. troops. Opened in 1933, it was the first of the Nazi concentration camps opened in Germany. More than 30,000 people were killed there. Hundreds died as part of medical experiments. It was originally used to house political prisoners, but was eventually used to imprison Jews, Catholic priests, Germans, and Austrian criminals and foreign nationals from countries that Germany invaded. And believe it or not, on that same day, on the other side of Germany, the German leader, Adolf Hitler, marries his mis mistress, Eva Braun. They reportedly committed suicide together the following day, although their bodies were never found. Sounds like he planned on a honeymoon somewhere hot, and it sounds like he expedited his travel plans right to the gates of hell, maybe. So, and it's hard to believe it took as long as it did, but on today's date in 2004, the National World War II Memorial, located between Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument, opens to the public. This monument was to honor the 16 million U.S. men and women who served during World War II, and it was long overdue. 
God bless our beautiful country and all the men and women who sacrifice so much to, to make this awesome country possible and to make it everything that it is. All right. From our comedy corner, what is the largest room in the world? The Room for Improvement. All right. Today is National Peace Rose Day, National Shrimp Scampi Day, National Denim Day, and National Zipper Day. Today's morning motivational is a simple, undeniable truth. Attack, attract what you expect, reflect what you desire, become what you respect, and mirror what you admire. I love it. It sounds like a recipe for success and happiness. Well, life has obviously taken a hard turn for the world around us for the last six weeks or so. Our position has not changed. Times are tough, but we will get through this. And when all is said and done, we will be a stronger and more prepared country. Every struggle is an opportunity, and overcoming challenges is what America does best. When we all return to work after this coronavirus pandemic, you will notice, obviously, there's going to be differences in the world around us, and uh, it, it's unavoidable, unfortunately. Upon entering buildings, doors may open automatically, so you don't have to touch the handles. Before you board elevators, you might tell the elevator what floor you'd like to go to rather than pressing the many buttons within the elevator. You will reach your floor more than likely when you walk in the room, it'll be full of dividers and well-spaced desks instead of open floor plan that you're used to seeing. In common areas like meeting rooms and kitchens, expect to see fewer chairs and posted documentation of the last time that they were clean. Now, these are just the changes that you're going to be able to see. Um, less noticeable in the post-coronavirus office will be the frequent cleaning policies, antimicrobial properties woven into fabrics and materials, amped up ventilation systems, or even the addition of UV lights for more deeply disinfecting the office at night. These UV lights are going to be game changers and there's a lot of great technology uh, behind that. They use it in operating rooms right now. As the coronavirus takes a steep toll on the economy and the workforce, some will permanently work from home. And some employers will choose to downsize their leases or look to flexible office spaces rather than long-term leases. Co-working spaces will probably never be quite what they were before. People may forego some of the hot desks and common spaces for the more sanitary, less profitable private areas. Many of these adjustments in office design are actually just accelerations about real estate trends that existed well before the pandemic, but just as policies around telehealth and liquor have quickly shifted, the COVID-19 crisis will force swift permanent changes in both commercial real estate and the workforce culture itself. The office, as we know, will never be quite the same, and the home office will be more popular than ever. Bell and I will do some do-it-yourself segments on creating the perfect home office in the near future. But in the meantime, if the home you're in now does not have the space, we certainly can help you find the one that's perfect for your needs. And if you have already working for you, so you certainly give us a call, reach out to us. But until then, have an awesome day. We always appreciate your time. You have the power. We'll talk to you soon.